All right, what's on the bench today? Uh, this is another Zoe uh, product. This is a ZT219. Now this is the kind of uh, meter that you just want on your bench all the time. Uh, it's 20,000 counts. Uh, and it has a microamp setting, a milliamp setting. Uh, it's got diodes and capacitor. It's it's got everything you need. It's got a it's got a, a nice big display. Uh, these are these type of product is great as a as a as a as your bench as your bench meter. Now um, I picked this out of their catalog, thinking. Um, 20,000 count meter would be a, a good one for for my viewers and then when I got it I went hmm that looks kind of familiar um, so uh, I've reviewed these before these are Anning uh, AN870s I like these so much I bought two of them <laughs> <laughs> um, and now I've got three. Uh, so I don't know who builds it. Um, if it's the same company who builds it, I, I assume it's the same company who builds it. Um, and uh, these have been around a long time. I'm thinking maybe Zoe, I don't know. Maybe these build these, these build these, who knows, but they're both the same product. So um, I will take a quick look at this. I'll also put a link down below. Uh, when I review this meter, I think I have a video. I'll see if I can link it down below. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it is a nice 20,000 count meter, which is like I said, it's got all the cool things. It says uh, 19,999 counts. Um, and uh, one of the really, really nice things about this meter is the microamp uh, setting. Not a lot of meters have a microamp setting, so this is a great one. It also has an on-contact uh, thing for uh, uh, AC detection. Um, it'll do 20 amps. I mean, it's very, very versatile. Um, you get, it also has a, a temperature. Uh, so it comes, it comes with a temperature probe comes with the regular probes. Um, it requires two AA batteries. Um, so anyway, let's just do a quick check and uh, see if it works just like the other one. Let's see, let's put some volts in it first. I've got my voltage calibrator up and running already, so I might as well use it. Uh, so what do we have? All right, it says we have 1.0001 volts. So that's really nice uh, to have that many digits. All right, two volts, three volts, four volts. It's got a really good cal. Five volts, look at that. Uh, six volts, uh, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, I think it's a winner. Um, so passes that test. Let's do a um, let's do an ohms test. That will be fun. Some clip leads out here. Uh, where's my resistors? These are 0.01 ohm resistors. Let's try a 10 ohms and let's try. Uh, see how much offset there is. Yeah, so it's it's about 0.15 offset, and we're measuring 10.15, so it's exact. Uh, here's 100 ohms. Wow. Here's 1,000 ohms. Wow. <laughs> it's got a good cow. Definitely has a good cow. Uh, let's see here. 10,000. Very nice, and 10 meg ohms. Let's see if it'll do 10 megs. Yep, 10 megs. Look at that, right spot on the money, nice. All right, so anyway, uh, I don't think there's any uh, reason to go through any other uh, of the uh, settings here. Just just go through them again. Uh, the off is all the way, which is nice. Uh, we have AC volts and hertz. It'll display percent uh, duty cycle and Hertz. 
it'll do uh, DC volts, uh, it'll do millivolts, another great uh, scale to have, and it will do temperature, uh, it will do uh, capacitor, diode, continuity, ohms, hertz, and percent hertz, uh, amps, both DC AC, milliamps, um, microamps, and the non-contact uh, AC voltage thing. So there you go. All right. Uh, well, that's my quick review of the Zoe ZT219 TRMS.